in Hamble, Hampshire, and about to take that shocking pink ferry across the River Hamble to Warsash. Look at that pink ferry. It's a beautiful day and perfect weather for filming our approximately six miles circular walk along the Hamble to Burlesden and then back to Hamble. Wow, this is awesome. Look at this. I imagine painting the ferry pink was a bit of a shock for the locals. However, for anybody searching for the ferry amongst hundreds of moored boats, they could not possibly fail to miss it. Morning. The ferry takes around 10-15 minutes to cross the quarter of a mile stretch of water across the estuary towards Ash. There's been a ferry crossing here since 1493. Hamble Rice apparently gets its name from the rise, the rise of the town above the river Hamble. Here it's an estuary and this flows into Southampton water between Hamble Rice and Warsash. Thank you. 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 I've booked lunch at the Jolly Sailor in Burlesden, but we'll also have time for a coffee stop en route, most essential. Well over 3,000 yachts and motorboats are moored along the Hamble. Incredible. Seems like a lot more. Let me know if I'm about to fall down a hole, David. <laughs> yes. No, we won't. <laughs> okay. So here's the Jolly Sailor. Appropriately dressed, has stripes. Two jolly sailors. Two jolly sailors, yep. Yep, you can see this bound of water at high tide. No doubt about it. Wow, yeah. Perfect day as well. This is one beautiful walk. Fantastic. Amount of boats over here. Incredible. Some marinas all the way along, I think. Of course, uh, shipbuilding in these parts. Yesteryear. I think the ferry we came across on, not the pink boat then, but uh, going back several hundred years. <laughs> Been a ferry crossing there across the Hamble. Wow. Yeah, but now it's shocking pink. So it stands out, you can tell which boat is the uh, ferry boat. Yes, did I mention the pink ferry boat? There's a few partially submerged wrecks here too, which obviously at low tide would be even more impressive. Walking along, I've never seen so many boats. It's a real mass fest. Morning ladies. 
Well, there's more boats out there you can throw a stick at. The remains of King Henry V's warships dating from the 15th century have also been discovered in the Hamble. Wow! Another old wreck. So yes, actually that's the, that's the wreck over there. Yeah, that's the pointy <laughs> bit. That sleek black boat's got my name on it. At this marina, there's a coffee shop open and I could really do with one. Can't say I've ever seen a multi-story boat park before. Plenty of boats for sale along here, if you happen to have the odd million or so quid to spend. As we approach the road bridge over the Hamble, we pass the appropriately named Navigator Inn. Ah, oh, jolly sailor. You may have noticed that paddle boarding seems quite popular here. After crossing the road bridge at Burlesdon, we turn left into Church Lane and then past the railway station. as we head uphill for the Jolly Sailor Pub and lunch. The pub dates from 1751 and is situated right on the water's edge, below Land's End Road. Great food here and great views too, overlooking the marina. After lunch, I shoot a few pictures of paddleboarders and kayakers.
Leaving the pub, we walk up the high street, where this view of the Hamble, with its panoramic views of the Solent and the Isle of Wight, a fantastic viewing point. Passing the Vine Inn, we continue on into Kew Lane. A left turn takes us off into a procession of narrow footpaths as we head back towards Hamble Rice. This route we're taking can be found in the AA's 50 Walks in Hampshire and the Isle of Wight guidebook. This way back is certainly not as picturesque as the riverside, obviously. But varying terrain and numerous blackberries make up for it. As we near Hamble, the weather's turned and it begins to rain, but luckily we've had the best of the day. Thank goodness for that. We pass St Andrew's Church as we head down to the quaint atmosphere of this old maritime village. Sure, it's been a grand day out. <laughs>